Gabriel Jazz Johnson here, Fathers and Sons Magazine, MSG Varsity, and Raz and Jazz Sports.com. Here with member of the NBA champion, New York Knicks, 1972-1973 team, Hawthorne Wingo. How are you doing today? I'm fine, thank you. What does a night like tonight mean to you with the team being honored after 40 years for winning an NBA championship? It means everything because uh, it was my first and only championship, you know, because after being with the Knicks after that for like four years, I went to Italy. And over there, we won a couple, couple of Della Cups, you know, which is like uh, the second major cup in Europe. But uh, this, you know, it was just with Italian guys. I didn't speak the language too well, so I, I couldn't appreciate it like being around the guys that I know, you know, here. You guys have had a lot of success. Uh, you and your teammates have had a lot of success, not only on the court with winning a championship here, the last championship by the Knicks, but a lot of guys on the team, well, Clyde Frazier, Phil Jackson, Bill Bradley in particular, have had a lot of success off the court. What's that, what does that say about your team? Well, it says everything. You know, like the guys are very intelligent guys. Um, they learn from the best. Red Holzman, who's a great coach. And um, they just took, you know, the things they learned and they put it to good use. How often do you keep in contact with your former teammates? How often do you guys speak? Well, um... Henry Bibby, I keep in touch with. It. He's a good friend of mine. The Earl, I see him around. Um, Willis, when he was here in New York. And um, let's see who else. Uh, that's just about it because the other guys, they left town, like Jerry Lucas. He moved away. Uh, Phil was in Chicago. And um, Clyde, I see Clyde, but you know, Clyde was, he was busy doing the shows right. and everything. But I watched him, you know, all the games on TV, so I kept in touch. <laughs> what, what, what's the feeling you get when you return to the world's most famous arena with all of the great memories that you have in this building? I love it here. This is the, this is the greatest place in the world. You know, the fans are the, are the best fans. Uh, they appreciate basketball, and they understand it, so it makes it a lot easier to, to, to be a part of it. Final question, what are your thoughts on the current New York Knicks team? I love them. I watch every game. Man, I think they got a shot this year. I really do. And I'm pulling for him. You know, I watch J.R. Reed. That's my favorite player. Carmelo, of course, he's great. Uh, Prigioni, because I played in Argentina. I saw him. I, I met him downstairs. And I told him I played in Argentina. Okay. And he said, what club? I told him, Farrell. Oh, Farrell, yeah. <laughs> he said, what's your name? Because when I played, it was in the 80s. Right. I was there in 83. Okay. We won the South American Championship. Okay. And uh, so, you know, I watch him play, you know, and I find he's from Argentina. I said, I like that guy. And he plays just like the Argentines, exactly the way he played. They hustle. They're hard-nosed players, you know. And the Knicks team, hey, Mike Wilson doing an excellent job, man. I love Mike because Mike, I liked him when he played.